What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Tuesday morning to you. Let's do this. We are in them red letter words. We're in Matthew chapter 12, and let's get into some devotion today. Um, Today's red letter words are profound. There's a unique principle in there that is so important, and we'll talk about it today, but let's read it first. It says this, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and no city or house divided against itself will stand. Normally when people quote this, they just quote the quick version, which is a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. And it's so true. Now, the context is kind of weird because the context is that Jesus had been casting out evil spirits out of people to help them. And the Pharisees come along, they're all grumpy and mad at Jesus. They're like, well, the only reason you can cast demons out is because you're one of them. And so you're just using evil to cast out evil. And Jesus is like, that's the it's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Don't you know uh, evil casting out evil doesn't do any good? Like a kingdom divided against itself can't stand. And so I think he's giving them kind of like a duh moment for a quick second here. But the profound principle is still there. And sometimes we lose sight of it. A kingdom divided can't stand. I think we're seeing this in our nation. A nation divided can't stand. Um, we'll sense this in our marriage at times. A marriage divided can't stand. Uh, a family, a team. Um, I think a church, this is so true. And so there's such a powerful principle that says in all of our doing, we need to pursue unity. Not uniformity. We're not trying to all look the same necessarily, but we all want to say, hey, we are unified underneath one great cause. As a matter of fact, I was talking to somebody recently and they said to me, they said, hey, pastor, I just don't think that that this church is is the right fit for me or that your flow is my flow and, and we're just not on the same page here. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We are absolutely on the same page because we believe that Jesus is Lord, that he's the son of God, crucified and risen from the dead three days later. That alone's enough. And, and, and my big encouragement inside of Christianity is like, hey, let's not focus on what divides us. There's all kinds of little things that we could disagree upon in scripture, but that shouldn't divide us. We are still all about exalting the name of Jesus. And, and, and as long as that's our focus, as long as we believe that, we have enough, more than enough, to be unified. Can I get an amen? And so um, I think this is so profound too, because when you read John chapter 17, Jesus spends an entire chapter praying that the church would be one, that his followers would be one, that they would be united. As a matter of fact, Paul says it like this in Philippians chapter 2. He goes, if there's any encouragement in Christ, if there's any comfort of love, any participation in the in the spirit, any, any affection and sympathy, meaning like, I, I, it almost like sounds desperate, doesn't it? If there's any hope at all, watch this. He goes, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love and being in full accord and of one mind. And so he's praying for the church, just like Jesus was praying for the church and saying, hey, unity matters. And so unity is something you want to pursue in your marriage, in your family, in any team or organization that you work for. Um, As a matter of fact, go read Psalms chapter 133, and it talks very specifically about how unity really does attract the favor and the blessing of God. And so I hope and pray that that we in our church and we as believers in, in our local church and the big global church that we say, you know what, we are unified by one cause and that is to exalt the name of Jesus because we believe that that's the key to everything. We believe that, that for every person I've ever met, I always thought this, like their life would be better if Jesus were in it and Jesus would make them better at life. Let's help connect people to Christ. Can I get an amen? And that right there, that, that's some unifying uh, message and some unifying purpose and a unifying cause. Can I get an amen to that? Church, I love you so much. Let's stay unified out there. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.